What up, LK Mafia? It's your boy, Arte Kicks, and just like that, we back with another one. All right, y'all, so I just got finished reacting to Adam Calhoun and Struggle Jenny's new joint, and Mises got a joint, too, that a few people said I should check out called, was it The White Sin? The White Sin. So we about to check this out. Let's see what Mises is talking about. Yo, boys and girls, ready? I'm ready. Let's go. One of the most disturbing things over the past few days that beard. has been the treatment of whiteness as some kind of moral disease. Yeah. You know, apparently all white people are racist. racist. I'm sorry George Floyd got killed. I kneel, but I don't feel white guilt. That's real, had guns in my face a bunch. By cops, had my face slammed off my trunk. By cops, piece of shit come in every race. That's back, so Yeah, that's right. He's saying it. He's saying it. Be race. That's back. Some work for the fucking state. And where bad doesn't matter where you come from. Black hood, oh this shit affecting everyone. Backwoods, I'm not sorry I was born white. You act like it was my choice. You act like it was my need and suffocated George Floyd. You act like I don't give a shit. You act like I did this shit. You act like I think that all black folks are ignorant. I refuse to be labeled as the same across the table. Baby rapping, shedding all the way to Cain and Abel. Lying, carrying in the park, and I ain't Derek Sharp. And I ain't nothing like those motherfucking skins. The only thing we have in common. I'm a phone watching George dying. I see what he's saying, you know, his argument in this song is, I'm not those individuals that, you know, committed those heinous acts, but y'all put me in the same category as them, or y'all paint me out to be just as bad as them because of the color of my skin or because that I represent the American flag so strongly. And I'm not so sure if that's true in regards to there being people out there that are you know, putting Mises in that position to where he has to feel like he has to defend himself for not being like those other individuals. Um, he might just be doing it for the song. I, I don't know. Maybe there are people out there that are looking at him being like, hey, you're part of the problem. But there's a part of me that don't feel like that is what's happening. But it's very clear to me that Mises isn't one of those people. And me, myself, I would not for a second view him that way. Those individuals, those police officers, what have you, the people that did what they did, those two men that killed the dude that was jogging down here in Georgia, I don't view Mises as being one of those type of people. And, you know, his argument is like, people are clumping him together because of the color of his skin and saying that he is somebody that may conduct themselves in the same type of manner as those people have. And I, and I get that that's an argument for a lot of white people in this country right now is to feel like, hey, I'm not the problem. Those messed up individuals are the problem. But it's very wise of Mises, like he's saying, to realize and understand that those type of effed up individuals come in every single color, every creed, every nationality, all over the world. This is very, very true. Swear to God, if I was there, I wouldn't rush the cops who died trying. And I ain't saying it's the fault of people. Same thing I said. Same thing I said. Misa said if he was there, he would have rushed the cop or died trying. When I first saw that video clip of George Floyd, all I could think about was damn those people that's sitting there and just watching and recording as this man life, his breath is being taken away from him, his last breath, I would have done something. I either would have gone up to the police officer, kindly asked him to remove his knee off of that man's back, or I probably would have pushed him off myself. One of the two things, because I myself know what it was like to be forced down on the ground, have somebody wait on you and not be able to breathe. I know what that's like. Well, that it didn't. I'm just saying and I ain't sitting back. Why the black bar pigment? Victim is a victim. Hey, so you don't get me wrong. The only ones that's in the wrong had the badges and pistols on. Along the same thought process. If I'm being honest, why am I supposed to feel guilty for shit that I ain't involved with? I ain't never been Yeah, 
that's something too man I had people commenting on the video that I um, posted yesterday about a little protest that was going on well a big protest that was going on out in the streets and people were lying on their stomachs with their hands behind their back people of all nationalities and they were blocking off this big large street this big large um, bridge I believe it was and you know a lot of people in my comment section and, and they were white were addressing their distaste for those people being out there protesting in the way that they were and I understand to some degree I do agree I do not think that they should have been out there in the street blocking traffic if that were the case if that scene were not already blocked off for that protest and then I agree entirely but there were still people in the comments saying things like well if those black people that got killed didn't do drugs or do crimes then when the police approached them they had nothing to worry about and I'm like wow there are people that still think that way there's people that still think that way no the people that we're talking about those laundry list of names of individuals that got killed by the hands of those dirty cops or mean cops or whatever you want to call them they did absolutely nothing wrong the only thing they did was be black and that's what we're trying to get people to understand when we say black lives matter yeah all lives matter a hundred percent but black lives matter too and there's no lie that this type of unjust behavior happens to people of all nationalities in this country even white people amongst other police officers who are also white but why does it have to happen to black people so much more that's the question that's the fight that's what we want to know and people are thinking well with all this stuff that's happening all the protesting this that and the fourth does all everything's gonna go back to the same watch in two weeks no if you believe and think that then you're not paying attention to all the change that has happened right now CEO of Reddit stepped down from his position in hopes that they replace him with a uh, African-American man who is just as capable or qualified to run that company Infinity Ward Xbox Call of Duty they have put up information new guidelines letting it know that they will no longer allow for people to be racist online and get away with it in the way that people have been doing I'm black people hear my voice when I get on the Xbox they throw the n-word at me immediately I, I don't take offense to it but it happens I've had it happen to me hundreds of times so the protesting that people are out there doing is so that this type of stuff can stop and people realize just how wrong it is Xbox are gonna penalize those people they're gonna get their accounts taken away from them when it comes to the unjust behavior of these police officers they're being held accountable left and right as these protests go along and people are getting injured by these police officers unlawfully these each one of them are being held accountable this is exactly what we are fighting for real justice justice for all justice against all who do wrong if you don't think the change is not happening if you don't see it it's because your eyes aren't open or your mind isn't open feel like sunny this room with my whole lunch sick to my stomach god i don't know who to trust one channel says this one channel says that one says he ain't resist one says he fought back y'all thought that what if we had roles reversed and i was in a hearse i wonder how many cities would have burned when will we learn god i know you coming to take a song to that paradise that don't see color just my brother just my sister just my family just one nation under god just humanity it's god's planet man we need to get our shit together because god planned for people to live free and peace together forever so rest in peace george floyd you deserve justice along with everyone who died from racist motherfuckers and cause of that you best believe i'll take a knee to show respect but if you right. ain't no apologies for me to hold your breath i'm not guilty I'm not guilty.
I can tell right now by, you know, I got to look. I didn't look at the comments or the views or the um, likes or dislikes um, when it comes to his music video. And I, but I can feel in me that every time he says he's not guilty, that he's not part of the problem, I, I can feel that irking people. You know what I'm saying? I understand exactly where he's coming from and I agree with him entirely. But I, I know that there's some closed-minded or arrogant and ignorant individuals out there that don't like the fact that he's saying that he's not guilty because of the fact that he's a white man in America and he looks the way he does. Way to go, Mrs. This was good, brother. Did a really good job. Fight for humanity. Unity is in that word. Yep, I didn't even know that. <laughs> yep, I'm over here acting like I knew that shit. Nah, I didn't even know that. But, <laughs> but yeah, man, you did it, man. One thing, too, I want to add that I didn't say before, um, and one thing that's been on my mind in regards to this whole situation, it's an argument that I'm not hearing people have, and it's that, and I might make another video entirely, entirely dissecting um, this situation from my viewpoint, um, but it's one that I don't hear people talking about in regards to how we as citizens or individuals of this country are dealt with by the law enforcement. It's something I recently experienced when it came to an interaction I had with a police officer and his partner just being completely on his side without necessarily hearing my side of the story also not being in tune to the entire situation at hand now it reminds me of back in like when you're in school and you might have a teacher that you don't get along with you dislike for whatever reason maybe they're just an ass to you or mean to you and they kind of treat you unfairly compared to the other kids and then you go to a teacher that you respect that you feel listens to you and then you tell this teacher the issue that you're having with your other teacher and then that teacher at some point goes to that teacher to talk and now those two teachers are against you it's that same sort of thing that I feel happens when it comes to police officers which is why you might get someone who's being victimized by an officer you can't talk to this officer because he's already put you into this position to where he's going to win no matter what it is that you say to him so you may try to address the situation to another officer in hopes that that officer will either see things your way or potentially side with you but that's not the case because in the minds of those officers they're on the good side you're on the bad you're the one in handcuffs right now no matter what you say you did wrong and I think that's really unfair and and it won't necessarily be from the partner of that specific police officer but any officer that comes on scene it could be 10 cars that pull up and they're all together they're all for each other you are in the wrong I have yet to hear of a situation where where an officer took a step back, really evaluated the situation and was able to, you know, side with the person that was actually being victimized by the police that didn't really do anything wrong in the first place. But I don't know. That's just another argument that I don't hear people talking about. But anyway, I'm going to end this video right here. If you like this reaction, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more. As always, the link to the is going to be down in the description box below. If you haven't already, make sure you follow your boy right here on the Grandman Twitter at Kicks. Till next one.